Hi, this is Info Puppet, and of all the effects, this next one is my all-time favorite. Check out the swirling, glowing light effect in my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 11 is open up. This worked fine in Photoshop Elements 10. And this is the image that we'll be working on today. Okay. First thing we need to learn how to do is how to draw glow rings. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the rectangle tool and then grab the ellipse tool. Now, if you just draw with the ellipse tool, you're just gonna get a circle like that with a fill and probably without the drop shadow. So we gotta learn how to draw without a blue fill or whatever color you have selected. So click on click to open style picker, change bevels to visibility, and then select this square with the diagonal red line. Now I can left click, hold and drag, and there you go. Photoshop Elements 10. You're gonna go ahead and go to your toolbar and select the ellipse tool. If you don't see it, it might be because it's hiding behind the rectangle tool, so just left click and hold. Come on up here and click on this little white arrow pointing down and then click on these two arrows pointing to the right and select visibility. There you go. All right. So, let's go ahead and go up here and select Layer, and Layer Style, and Style Settings, and we're going to select Glow, and I'm going to select Inner Glow and Outer Glow. Alright, well, I don't see anything. Well, maybe if I change yellow, you probably can't see yellow on white, so I'll change yellow to pink, and okay, I still don't see anything. Maybe I need a darker pink. Okay, uh, I still don't see anything, I'll try the Outer Glow. Change that to pink, and... Well, maybe I need to change the size, because I'm still not seeing anything. What's going on? What? This is not working. This is not working. Why do I try Photoshop? Wait, if I click on OK. No, it's still not working. Oh, I can't do Photoshop. I'm just going to quit. It just doesn't work. All right, let me show you what's going on here. Let's go back up to Layer. Layer Style and Style Settings. And now I'll select Glow. And look, you can see an inner glow. And I'll change it to pink, and you can see the pink. It's because you can't see inner and outer glows on the color white. Thanks for telling me. It was driving me crazy. Look, I'll show you if you don't believe me. When I first tried to do an inner and outer glow, I did it on white. I was pulling my hair out. I've actually pulled all my hair out. This is just a wig. I have none of my normal regular hair. None of it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter since I'm a puppet. But that's beside the point. Let's get back to the tutorial. Okay. So, we gotta get rid of this white. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the eraser tool over by the toolbar. And I'm gonna select the magic eraser tool. I'm just gonna left click and release. Boom! And I'm just gonna do it again. And again. Alright. Now I'm going to go in and select the paint bucket tool, but don't use the paint bucket tool on your original image. It's going to mess up the uh, Im the uh, perimeter or the line. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to drop the paint bucket tool on the new layer. Just left click and release. And now I'm sliding the girl up so she's above the painted layer. So I can see her again. Now she's got some white glowing going on in her hair, so I'm going to select the burn tool. I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. This is in fast motion, and I'm going to fast forward it now. Looks pretty good. Alright, I've got the ellipse tool now, and I just drew my ring. And I'm going to select layer, layer style, and style settings. And I'm going to click on glow, and click on inner and outer glow. And I'm going to change the color yellow to a nice light pink. Okay. 
and I'm going to click on the color slide for the outer glow and select a nice light paint. Now if you want them exactly the same color, just copy this code uh, from the inner code to the outer glow. The inner glow to the outer glow. Now we're changing the size to about 21 pixels for the inner glow and also 21 for the outer glow. Okay. Now I'm going to come up here, right click and select duplicate layer, click on OK and right click and select duplicate layer again, click OK. So I actually have three glowing rings. Now I'm going to select the move tool, which is right at the top usually of your toolbar, and I am moving the rings apart from each other. Now if you've got the move tool, if you come in close, you'll get these curved arrows and you can uh, tilt your rings. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to move it down here. Now I'm going to go to the center ring and I want this to have a little section that just perfectly intersects with the lower ring. Now I'm going to go to the upper ring and I'm going to tilt this in the opposite direction of the lower ring and again I want that to have a section that intersects. Alright, let's go to the lower ring now and let's start erasing. So I'm going to grab the eraser tool and I'm going to select uh, the size of about 34 pixels and 100% opacity. All right, and now I'm going to erase and what? What's that say? This shape layer must be simplified before proceeding. It will no longer have a vector shape. Ah, vector shape, smacker shape. I just click OK. Now I can erase. Now I'm going to change this to 300% and I want my first ring here to be behind the girl so I'm erasing all the glow on her legs okay now I'm just smoothing this out right here and I'm gonna go over here and select the middle shape and I'm just select okay and now I'm just erasing because we don't need this part. I'm going to want to smooth this lower ring into the upper ring. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're going to erase this. This should actually be behind the girl. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the upper ring and erase the parts of the upper ring we don't need. Alright, click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and click on and erase this line here. All right. Now I'm going to erase this. This will be real easy because it's on a separate layer. Just erase very easy. And there it is. We're almost there. We're almost where we want to be. But now we got to go back and let's go back down to the eraser tool and change the size to maybe only about, well, I'd say 19 pixels. I'm going to bring the opacity all the way down to 20%. Alright, now what I'm doing is I just want to make this look like it's kind of uh, fading in. And I'm, so I'm erasing the edges, make it look like it fades in. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing down here. Now if you start erasing and nothing's happening, you're probably on the wrong layer. Remember, this is still three different shapes. So now I'm on the lower ring. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this and we'll make it look like it faded in, like the top ring. Now I'm just uh, going ahead and doing some finishing touches on where I'm blending in my bottom ring to my middle ring. Alright, let's take a look at what we got. So there you go, that's how you do it. It is one of the coolest effects. If you want to make a, your model pop or just want to make your product pop, it is so awesome. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, do me a favor and click on subscribe. Thank you from Info Puppet.